Uh, this is a review of a Camco AC voltmeter that I bought for my uh, RV. Uh, anytime you plug in the AC when you're at a park, you really need to monitor the voltage, especially for things like brownouts. Even if you have a surge protector, not all surge protectors will protect you from a brownout. Some of the better ones will disconnect the coach, but uh, that's not always going to be reliable. And the best uh, re reliability is you looking at the voltage. Now one nice thing about this is it's designed such that the oval uh, aspect of it allows you to recover the other plug that you uh, are not plugged into so you don't waste two outlets with such a meter. However, I found that this meter doesn't seem to be too accurate. And one of the real problems are is static electricity can really affect um, the reading of the meter. And in fact, uh, so much so that I'm not sure if you can really rely on it. So what I'm doing actually is I'm causing static electricity on the face, the plastic face of the meter uh, just by rubbing my finger across it. And that static electricity is actually grabbing onto the to the pointer and moving the pointer around. So is this accurate or not? I don't know. Um, I, I have to think that uh, I'm not sure that I would trust it all that much. So what I may do though is uh, bring out my fluke voltmeter and stick it in there and just do a comparison and see uh, you know what the true voltage is. So Mr. Fluke is measuring 120.5 volts. Mr. Camco is measuring about looks like 122 volts. So that's about what uh, what two volts off. So um, one percent. One and a half percent off. I guess that's not too bad. Although it'd be nicer if it was dead on. Of course, if I uh, play with it a little bit with static electricity, I can't. Well, there it's measuring 125. Oh boy, there is measuring 130. Um, maybe we need to rub this thing with some cling free or static free or whatever that stuff is they put. They put in. Uh, Put in your laundry. Maybe that'll maybe that'll make the same work.